downward. And I have a ping pong ball. So if I put the ping pong ball on the hair dryer and turn it on, it's going to blow a bunch of air. Um, the ping pong ball is going to slow that air down because um, it's going to hit it. And so if the ping pong ball is providing a down force on the air as the air strikes it, um, the air is going to provide an up force on the ping pong ball, and that should make it go up. But then the question is, is it going to float out? I use it just going to go up and then pop out of the stream of air and fall back down? Or is something else going to happen? Put our ball in here. And it just floats there. And so the question is why? What's keeping it in that stream that's pulling it up? And I can even tip it some. If I tip it too far, then it falls out. But you saw I, I could tip it, what, probably 15 degrees, and it was just suspended there. So, uh, one, explain how that works. You can stop the film. I said that, all right, so what was happening there, um, we had our hair dryer. Um, not the greatest artist in the world, but I'll give it a shot. Um, hair dryer was blowing air up. And as Bernoulli's principle states, when you have air moving rapidly, um, you create a low pressure zone. So as that air continues up, it strikes the bottom of the ball and pushes the ball up. But then you might ask, what prevents the ball from just falling out of the side? And you might have noticed the ball kind of wiggled in the uh, airflow there. And so what happens is the ball actually does start to fall off the side. But once it gets to about here, it has this fast air going past it on this side, which still provides a low pressure. Um, but on this side, it's got normal pressure. Um, or relatively high pressure. And so if you have normal pressure on one side and low pressure on the other side, that's going to push the ball back into the stream and, and keep it going up. And if it, if it goes all the way through to this side, you'll get the same thing. You'll have the ball over here, the fast air on this side. So the low pressure will be on this side, the normal pressure there, and it pushes the ball back in. Um, if you tip it, um, what was happening, then the ball was consistently staying on one side. Um, you've got all the air going this way. Um, so in that case, the ball was kind of falling out of it, but once it got over here, um, again, the low pressure from that fast moving air and the normal pressure from the stationary air kept the ball in the stream um, until once we tipped it far enough, eventually gravity was stronger than the pressure differential between the normal air and the low pressure air, and that's when the ball fell out. But um, that is how Bernoulli's principle applies to that um, ping pong ball on a hairdryer.